From winning a James Beard Award to the coveted title Best New Chef from Food & Wine, Jody Adams has won her fair share of acclaim. But it all began at the family dinner table. Born and raised in New England, she credits her mother with giving her an appreciation of both fresh local ingredients and flavors from across the globe. She started her career working at Boston area restaurants, eventually opening a place of her own, the acclaimed Rialto, in Cambridge. Now she's on to new ventures, including Porto, offering Mediterranean style seafood, and Saloniki, a Greek fast casual restaurant near famed Fenway Park. Chef Jody Adams, welcome to the dish. I'm excited to be here. We're excited welcome. to have you. And what have you brought and, with you? Wow, great food. So <laughs> this is Greek yogurt with lemon curd and my secret baklava wafers that you're going to hear about and get the recipe. <laughs> this is what I call a hippie salad because it's crunchy, salad. crunchy. Sure. Uh, saffron braised red peppers, Gorgeous. bucatini oh, nice. and lobster, oh, octopus boy. braised artichokes, and then a Greek Negroni. Oh, mm. lethally clear. It yes. looks like it's just don't a glass of water, it. I yeah, assure exactly. you. Sure, it's don't safe. worry about it's it. It's cheers. Safe. So, uh, cheers. Uh, chef, you went to Brown University, I went to Brown I University. Know. I studied Egyptology, you studied anthropology. Neither one of us has ended up where those those uh, fields of study would maybe have suggested. Perhaps <laughs> not, yeah. Tell us a little bit about your trajectory. From well, there. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I had spent a summer with an uncle in Guatemala who was a Latin American anthropologist, and I thought, wow, this is cool. And what I learned um, in anthropology is that anything is anthropology. So yeah, I could sure. study music, I could study sociology, right. I could and and actually in the, what my future life as a chef it's served me very well in, in the sense of the way I think about food because mm -hmm. I always want to know the whys of why ingredients right. are put together, why a cuisine is the way it is, why you know Spanish cuisine is slightly different than French cuisine, Italian cuisine, even if they use the same ingredients. Right. Sure. You had an early encounter with Julia Child. I did. And <laughs> how did that influence you? Well, she told me what to do. She did? Yes. I, Sounds like Julia Child. Child. <laughs> I first met her before I had ever even considered becoming a chef in a restaurant. I just loved to cook, and I had the opportunity to work for her while she was doing a volunteer show for Planned Parenthood, mm. and I washed her dishes. And then years later, I met her when I had figured out I wanted to work in a restaurant. And she said, well, you have to go work for Lydia Shire, who at the time was the chef at Seasons in the Bostonian Hotel right. 30 years ago. The best, most innovative restaurant, probably not just in Boston, but in the, in the country, one of them. And Julia was in my life all, all the way through until she left Boston and moved to Santa Barbara wow. and then died. She kept track of people. She was an incredible supporter of um, chefs in general, women in particular. And yeah. I believe that, because people ask, why does Boston have such so many women chefs? Yeah. And I really think that it was her presence. Yeah. Yeah. That because it was so difficult in other parts of the she country. She was the sort of matriarch yeah. for the Boston women's cooking scene. Because she was so visible and such a supporter. Um, Chef, as I hand you this dish, in yes. this ceremonial <laughs> thing that we do every week, I want to ask you the question we also ask every chef every week, which is if you could share this meal with any figure, past or present, who would it be? I have a sense of what you're going to say. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Well, I guess I have to. <laughs> I have to say, uh, yeah, it would be Julia, and and bringing her back would be a great thing. I would love yeah. to know what she thinks of what's going on in restaurants in the country around the world. Right. Um, and there are more women in restaurants. Yes. There are more women, even though everybody says, "Where are the women?" There are more women. We need more women, and right. we need to support more women. But, Julia yeah. Child, incidentally, I think has gotten more votes on that question than than anybody. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that's good. Segment. Well, who wouldn't want to share this? Should I sign? Should Please I? go ahead and sign it for our wall, Chef Jody Adams. Thank you. And for more on Jody Adams and the dish, head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.